I, I thought he missed me, but uh, hey, I'm Kenskin. Here's a black one too. Blah, blah, blah. And it's OU against Keo. It's a team based around Kieran Black because it's a fucking boss. Uh, basically, Kieran Black needs Stealth Rock. Not not Stealth Rock. A rapid spin up called the Stealth Rock is so prevalent in the tier. So I cho chose I chose Don Fan because it has Stealth Rocks and rapid spin access, and it's a good physical wall as Ice Shard to stop dragons of its other nature. If uh, was it called Kieran Black can't out prioritize them which it can't anyways but anyways uh amuga's handles breloom which is a threat to this entire team because i have three steals no i only have two steals uh yeah because mark punch can also hurt breloom mark punch can also hurt heatran breloom is a user of mark punch and that's what that came from magnazone tracks steals like ferrothorn this team overall doesn't really appreciate rain which keo has because he's a fag uh but yeah Kyo is a fag. Hashtag Kyo is a fag. Jokes. Let's go. I think. Maybe. I don't know. But basically, Latias is on this team to be a special sweeper. And it's also a dragon, which is bulky. And Latias is a good bulky motherfucker. It's Carmine, Roost, Psy Shock, and Dragon Balls. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Uh, I chose not to have Hidden Power Fire Psy Shock combo because I didn't want my team to be too rain destructive. No, to be too bad in the rain, but it is still bad in the rain. So that didn't really work out, but anyways, his team is so fucking threatening. His, his entire team, in theory, could be choice, but he wouldn't be that, because he's not a bad player. And Kyo is definitely a good player. He's related to nearly top, I think. Nearly to the top, because I know Blunder Boost is the top. Hashtag Blunder Boost! No, I'm joking. Um, but hey. Hey, what's that? Basically, he could have Garth Trump was track on being his Stealth Rock abuser. And, actually no, his entire team could be choice and scarfed and his entire team just looks threatening. You know what, I'm gonna stop there because entire I can't predict this team. I just know it's gonna be a fucking threatening team. Most likely uh, okay, most likely I don't know what's gonna happen, but most likely you'll see in two to three seconds. And we're gonna get right into the match. I use, he is gonna leave a polyturd because he he has no reason not to. He's his best option is to get his weather up as early as possible because it's gonna benefit his entire team, mainly thunderous because that thunderous can just fucking bomb me with thunders. And I led with Don Fan because I'm an idiot and I thought maybe getting Stealth Rocks up early game would be a good thing. Forgetting the fact that he had Politoed out. And I'm just going to get straight into my, uh, what's it called? This thing, Amoongus. He predicts me and goes for Ice Beam. I don't know if he predicted me and just went for, otherwise wanted to go for Scald anyways. But I don't know what that's going to happen. But yeah, he looks offensive by the way that he I'm taking these hits. Because I thought I am especially defensive. I thought I was at least. Uh, I am actually special defensive and overestimating Amoongus's special bulk. And yes, I went for a Spore, he had Chester Berry, he was not Scarfed, I'm an idiot, I have to switch out, because I don't want my thing to die so early to an un just bloody Ice Beam from a Politoed. So I'm going to regenerate some health, going to go into this Cure in Black, I can take any hit, and lo as long as he doesn't go for Scald, but he wouldn't go for Scald because he's not an idiot, he's not a bad player, he didn't predict that well, and I'll go for Dragon Ball, Dragon Claw, I am Scarfed, I'm going to do a hell of a lot. This Hydro Pump did a lot more than I expected. It was in the rain, it was a Politoed, but yeah, I still wasn't expecting that much. And right now he goes and Sizzle, which is very threatening. I am scared of the Pursuit and Bullet Punch at the same time, so I'm going to risk it out. Risk out going for a... well, risk out and switch out. Go into my Dawn Fan, because I'm pretty sure I can take any hit that he wants to take or throw at me if it's a Bullet Punch. Or... Pers no, yeah, U-Turn. Yeah, U-Turn. I can take a U-Turn and Bullet Punch from this thing. So that happens, and... I go into Don Fan and now I am kind of screwed. I don't want to stay in because I know Hidden Power Ice is incoming and that would do a hell of a lot and even kill me. So, in comes my, uh, what's it called? What's this called? Heatran. Rick Flan! Hidden Power Ice has nothing to me. I recover it off like a boss and now I am positioned to. Actually, no, I switch. I double switch. I do double switch. Thinking that he would now go into his something. I don't remember. What, I don't remember what. I, I, I double switched. I double switched for some reason. I can't remember why. This match was three months ago. Forgive me. But anyways, he went for a nasty plot, and now he goes in power ice. Why am I so bad? Yeah, he has nasty plot. In power ice, he's definitely not scarfed now, or specs now, and this is not good news because my Moongus is dead. Not very good. This is going to go for an Ice Beam, I am Scarfed, and I am not going to kill the Politoed with two Ice Beams, so I'm going to switch out again. He predicted, uh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go into Heatran, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to take another Ice Beam. Ice Beam? 
No. I can take the scold because Ric Flair can actually take a two scolds, I think. But he actually pulls out the rest, which are. Oh, yeah, he pulled out the rest because he had a chest break. That explains so much. But now I'm going to go for a raw, getting it out, and now I'm going to go for a love plume. I don't know why he stayed in with Sizzle. Maybe think I'm going to over predict again. But no, I'm not going to over predict. I'm going to just roast that Sizzle. Goodbye, Sizzle. And no more Sizzle for the rest of the game. Nice. Going to protect. Just gou gouging, gauging if this guard jump is in fact scarfed because I didn't haven't seen anything scarf on this team yet. And it just turns out to go for Stealth Rocks and now I am screwed because he just quickly go for Earthquake and bomb me because that's what he can do. That's what guard jump can do. And uh, yeah, Earthquake doesn't do too much to me. Luckily, it did about 30%. Not a nice amount, but I can go for Ice Shard and kind of almost do a lot of damage. He did about 40%, which is very annoying. He's going over Swords Dance, and this is very, very threatening. But my friends, this is where I embrace the hands. This is where it all comes to light. Oh, I shot Crim, bitch. That is how you play the game, my friend. You, you rely on hacks, because I am pretty sure without the hacks, I might have just lost the game right there. I might have. Probably. Probably would have. I'm not, I'm not accepting anything, but I probably would have lost. But anyways, he's going to go to Thunderous now. I'm going to go to my Ric Flair, because I'm positive I can take anything from this thing until he pulls the agility, which means he's going to outspeed my entire team now, which is not good at all. But... On the bright side, I do have the raw, and I think I'll just go for that as soon as he pops me with a thunder. Thunder. Yeah, I don't need that. You half. Yeah, if you if you had nasty plot and agility up, then I would have been very very screwed. But right now, seeing as he has nothing on scarf on his team, I'm just going to protect the scout what he has. I'm pretty sure it's going to be choice art. I don't know if it's going to be scarfed or banded. Going to scout first. He is going for the close combat. He's not over predicting, so I don't want to. Um, well, yeah, I wanted to make sure, I wanted to, him to over predict to me about me staying in, so I stayed in, thinking that he'd over predict, and that didn't work out for me, so that was stupid. And I go into my Dawn Fan here, pretty stupid play actually, because I, sh I should have just realized that some this was probably banded, because most dragons are banded nowadays, and there, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, he has Kyoto still, that's probably Scarf, which you'll see later on it is. But because of that, I could have I lived in close combat if my... Uh, if his... Tracheon was Scarfed. But no, he is banded and just demolishes my Don fan. But now Latias can take a hit from Choice Banded Advent. Or, I don't know if it's Advent, but yeah. Choice Banded Tracheon. I can live two close combats. I am able to go for a Calm Mind, go for a Side Shock, I am able to outspeed because I am timid, max speed, uh, max special attack, and I am going to roast it with Side Shock because that's what, that's what Latias does. That's just what Latias does. Luckily for me, that works. But yes, right now he's going to go to Thunderous. I'm just going to go for Dragon Pulse. Uh, he's not Scarfed, so I'm going to outspeed easily, and I am going to do a hell of a lot to it goes with him power ice it doesn't do it doesn't do much at all um it, 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 it did a quarter i mean i the best way for me should have been to just go for on a roost i believe but i mean if he's nasty plotted and he kept going for hiding power ices then that would have been, wouldn't have been nice would not have been nice at all but the fact is now i'm going to roost just to recover my health just to make sure i'm able to live a couple of other hits i guess and I should have gone for another roost hit, but I just think I just go for a Dragon Pulse next turn because I just don't want. I just want to speed up the match, and I should have sped this up a bit, actually, reminding, remind me next time to speed up matches. But anyways, take him out with a Dragon Pulse, and that thunder has gone bye bye. What did he have leftovers? I, I think he had leftovers. I, 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 ugh, I, I'm a such an idiot. Okay, well that thing might have had leftovers. I can't even remember if it did now. But the fact is, his Koda comes in. He is scarred because he outsped me. And he's got to take me out with the hidden power, ice or bug or dragon or ghost, wherever it is. He gets a crit. It mattered, but in all seriousness, it doesn't really matter. Cause bye, nigga. B -b bye, nigga. Comes in. Magna Zone is in. He. Uh, <laughs> what was the choice lot Kelly are gonna do to a Magna Zone? I'm gonna set up a sub. He put himself to sleep, so that's his own funeral right there. I am behind a sub. I'm a Magna Zone. 
electric is super effective and warm, my friends. Goodbye to you. Goodbye. Thunderbolt strikes. Almost killed. <sighs> Funny story about this manga. It's, it's copied. I copied the set from Kyo without me even knowing. It actually has magic coat on it. Just to block Ferrothorns and Skarmories. Wanting to whirlwind or spikes against me. But yeah, that's a story for our time. He's basically going to go for a surf. He is twice scarfed in the rain. It would do a lot, but I have a substitute. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go for T-Bolt, and that thing is destroyed. And that will be a good game. Thank you, Kia, for the match. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. Uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. It felt, it felt good to upload in the rain. Hope you guys did enjoy. I hope we see you next time. Goodbye.